your magic eyes tv link your magic eye tv link how to connect your tv link in your second point you got only one decoder in your house and this decoder is sitting let's say in your sitting room now you got the extended point in your room or in your tv room now you are sitting there watching tv you want to change the channel you don't need to run to the sitting room before changing your television you want to change the signal of your decoder on your second point using your tv link how to connect and how to install your tv link in your second point stay tuned till the end let's share let's follow it let's enjoy guys we are a family welcome to my channel welcome to your channel welcome to our channel welcome to the channel of, of technician welcome to the channel of entrepreneur welcome to the channel of handyman welcome to the channel of business people welcome to the channel of technician of electronic yes welcome to the channel of technician of refrigeration and air conditioning welcome to the channel of technician of satellite today we talk about satellite yes again satellite we're going to be talking about business we're going to be talking about entrepreneur we're going to talk also how to open your own business how to open your own workshop we're going to be talking how to build your own workshop and build your own company in south africa of course what do you need what kind of training do you need to open your tv repair workshop or to open your satellite installation workshop or to open your refrigeration and air conditioning workshop stay tuned in this channel i believe we're gonna build a big community coming back to what we're going to talk today before we say i always ask you and invite you subscribe why you subscribe you subscribe for a permanent content when i say permanent i mean it my video will remain permanent in this platform five years ten years you'll still gain something about this video keep it subscribe and share guys today i'm going to be talking to you about your tv link tv link is a device who allow you you connect a TV link. I'm going to show you how it looks like TV link. The TV link is a device like this one. It got a sensor there. It got a light, indicator light there. Got a light and then it got uh, input mail going to your TV, the antenna board. It got also a female one going to your setup box it can be a dstv decoder it can be another device it can be a pv app it can be an explorer it can be a s uh, decoder and then you got a sensor and at the back you got this plastic we're gonna allow you to stick it in front of your television because the communication between your remote and the sensor is very important so when you are changing your channel you must point your remote your remote like this you must point it to this sensor so uh, is this a sensor who's going to communicate with your remote via the infrared so that you can change your channel instead of going to your sitting room or going where the decoder is sitting guys that is a uh, call uh, tv link that's why we call it magic magic eyes eyes like mine magic eyes tv link you see this another model you can see uh, this mail this uh, mail part go to to the tv this one uh well, they firstly manufacture this one and they could see that there are some tv you cannot easily put uh the eyes and then you have to extend this cable now they manufacture another one which is actually long you can plug it you can see the male part go there and you see have the the light the light if this light is not on your remote will not communicate with the sensor so when you plug your TV link, make sure you activate the link on the RF. Uh, make sure you activate the link, the TV link. It depends on the option of your decoder, PVR, Explorer, uh, S model, or HD model, DSTV decoder. You have to activate your RF power on, or you actually have to activate your TV link. This light must come on to power the TV link so that your remote can now communicate with your the eyes of the tv link okay so this device will be used on your television on your second point uh, i just want to mention that in this place now in this kind of installation 
you got only maybe only one decoder at home or you got two decoder connected on s uh, on uh, s drive view and then you have more than two television you got okay after you see the presentation of the tv link like as i'm sure this sticker at the back is gonna allow you to stick this uh ice this ice this sensor in front of your television so that it can you can easily communicate uh, between the sensor or you can easily point your remote uh, on the direction of the sensor so you don't point the remote on the direction of the tv but you point the remote on the direction of the sensor because that's where the communication is if this sensor is hidden it's not going to work so it should be exposed on your eyes and exposed in the certain way that when you press the remote when the remote is pressing and then is getting the sensor contact immediately so you can use the tv link in different way you can have an extra view at home uh, let's say let me explain to you the direct one you can have your decoder you have a decoder this remember to use your tv link the decoder must have a rf out port the decoder must have a rf out port i'm going to show you how to use your tv link when your decoder doesn't have a rf out port but to use your tv link make sure the decoder you are using have a rf out port now when your decoder have a rf out port you have to check the menu of the decoder to see if that decoder it can be any kind of receiver it can be ovhd it can be dstv it can be any dstv or any satellite uh, decoder receiver so you have to check if you got the facility of rf power on off on or you got a tv link facility if you check you realize that you got a tv link facility by using the remote and go to the menu and there you sort it out so you have your rf out and then what you do you get your tv link you're gonna take a cable you're gonna connect the cable on that decoder sitting in your sitting room like this on your rf on your rf out you're gonna make a cable on your rf out like this from this decoder sitting on your sitting room you take this decoder on your sitting room you take one cable on rf out meaning you are taking the signal for this decoder to your room or to your tv room so you run this cable till the second point when you reach in the second point television you put a mail connector like this you put a mail connector like this you put at the back of your tv if you put this cable at the back of your tv you're going to tune your tv let's say in automatic setting you tune your tv you're gonna catch the picture of the decoder in your sitting room right but like this you just view the picture whatever is on your sitting room you can view it in your room but you cannot change the channel on that decoder you cannot change the channel on that decoder now that's why they manufacture these uh, magic eyes this magic eyes tv link so because you cannot change the channel in that room you're going to use now the tv link that's where the tv link comes to help you to communicate with the remote when you are in your room instead of running going to the sitting room so what you're going to do you're going to take it out from the tv you, you bought your tv link you take the tv link now you take your tv link you're going to screw the tv link you see here make sure you have an f connector you're going to screw the tv link here you're going to screw the tv link here the idea is to Put your TV link before you connect it to your TV. So you put on the TV link like this. This is a sensor. This sensor is going to stay in front of your TV so that you can communicate with your remote. So this one, this male one, you put it now at the part of the antenna. You put it there. You tune your TV. When you got all your channel, check if this light, if this light is turned on, green. If it's not on, what you do, you go back to your sitting room where the remote where this uh, uh, decoder is sitting you take the remote you go to the menu and you check your rf out make sure your rf out is on or make sure your tv link is able your tv link is on when you activate your tv link or your rf out, out on this light will come on when this light is on showing that your tv link is capable to work but when this light is off your tv link will not work i remember some customers sometimes use their remote 
and and they're going to go to menu and they will change the setting of the rf out the, the rf out power is off when the rf out power is off this light will go off and your remote in the room will not work you'll be thinking this tv link is damaged you can even run and go and buy another one when you buy a new tv link it will do the same thing so the problem is only by going to your decoder use your remote go to the menu and activate your rf power on or your tv link on when you activate your tv link on your power f or your your power rf out on this light will come on and then you can go back to your room and point your remote to this sensor which you put in the front of your tv and change your channel without going to the sitting room remember it's not an extra view but it allows you to change the channel in your room because in your room is the same channel you have in your sitting room that you have in your room that's why you did the extension from rf to your room okay i hope by by this time you can understand the function and how to connect it with a single installation like this now there are some people which in their house they got more than two decoder and they put it on extra view and they have between uh they, they got between the two decoder a heartbeat cable now if you have a heartbeat cable which is installed by a box like this one by a box like this one you got a rf you got the uh, input and output you got input input yeah and you got output yeah in this installation we have rf going there we got a rf out going there rf go out going there and this one is output this is the one going to television so the same connection you just take this one before you go to your installation you put your tv link you put your tv link just like the sample installation you put your tv link you got another installation who using um who using the box like this one also you got box like this one when the tv come out here before you put on your tv you put your tv link and you make sure this light here is on when this light is on that means your tv links can work but if this light is off your tv link will not work so you have to activate your rf power on your decoder to make this light on you have the installation whereby uh, you have a decoder in the house and then you don't even have an extension but you have been thinking how to get an extension like this one s model decoder you don't have a rf out here but you got av out here now when you have this kind of decoder remember you have to get a modulator we're gonna allow you to modulate the av to rf so you're gonna take out your av you're gonna put it here and then you'll come out here and go to your television when you come out here you go to your television with the cable in your room and before you plug this one to your television you're gonna still put your your tv link your tv link will still be here so uh, basically the installation is the same so if you got an extending point of television in your house either you are using direct from your decoder rf either you're using direct from your decoder rf port or you are using via the modulator still rf out or if even if you got the explorer it can be your explorer one it can be your explorer two you have rf out and that you use your rf out you use your rf out you the cable going here go coming out here going to your tv before you plug it on your tv in the back at the back of your tv you put your tv link and you connect the link to your tv remember i repeat again before your sensor will work this light must be on if you connect it you see that light is not on go back to your decoder use your remote and set the rf out power on if the rf power the rf out power is not on you're not gonna see this light on and your tv link will not work so that is the secret of your tv link make sure the light on it is on make sure your rf out 
power on your decoder is on and make sure your TV link is on because some certain decoder, you just have to activate it by putting your RF out power on. Some certain decoder, they say TV link able or enable. So you have to put your TV link on as well and save it so that this light can be on and you can utilize your TV link uh, normally. And there you can use your remote and change your channel via uh, your TV link in your room with that run, go back to the sitting room. This you can use in any kind of satellite box decoder and uh, personally you can use it on the on the DSTV decoder like a PVR, like an Explorer, like an S model by using a modulator. So guys, I believe this one could be very interesting for you. And as you know, this is a channel of technician. We are here to share and we are here to recommend uh, uh, all the people who love this kind of topic, who love technology to be in one community. So I invite you to subscribe, subscribe guys. I invite you to subscribe. And if you did like the video, uh, basically if you have reached in this end of the video, that means you find it interesting and do this to me, do this. Yeah. And give some comment below so that uh, we can have some good idea of what we can provide to you in this platform guys my name is alphonse Foucault. thank you for watching till next time in my next video god bless